Hello there. How are you doing? Jeff, the social owner, principal, AIMC Biz Solutions.com for our weekly video for you. So, as you know, AMC Biz Solutions, we do everything from websites, responsible websites for small businesses, as well as social media management, online reputation management, merchant accounts, business networking. We do it all for small businesses. So, this week, what I'd like to do is talk about, you know, the king of it all, the website, right? You own a business. What's one of the first things you always want to do? You want to have your website up and running so people that can discover you online right away. But, you know, there's a lot that goes into, you know, building out your website. It's not just a matter of, you know, slapping some content on some page with a good background and all that. It takes a lot of planning. So this is what I like to talk about today. So, you know, as you know, when you start a business, uh, one of the first things you always want to do is you want to have a business plan. What's your plan? Um, you know, kind of you want to plan out your your one year, your quarterly strategy, yearly strategy, two to three years out. Like, how do you want to grow your business? So, you know, just like a business, your website, one of the first things you want to do is you want to define your goals and successes, right? So you want to think about what pe what do you want people to do on your website? That are, are you going to be an e-commerce site? Are people going to be buying something from you? Do you simply want a form for people to contact you? Do you want to be an education site um, or subscription-based site? Think about what your goal and what would be successful. What would be a successful website? That's probably one of the first things you want to think about. Second thing, this is really important, is choosing a domain name. Now, you want something very catchy as a domain name, right? Something that will capture somebody. Like, go to mywebsite.com. You need to see this .com. You need something that's really catchy or it and defines you as a domain name. So you want to do that. You want to get that written before you even start building your website. You want to choose a hosting provider, right? Of course, MA Web Centers is awesome. You can try us. We do it all for you. Uh, but you want to understand what's out there from a hosting perspective. Do your shopping. See what's best for you and what you need for your business. Then you start getting to the nitty gritty of your website. Design it. You know, what's your company colors? What kind of background do you want? Do you want something catchy? Do you want something simple? I advise you not to use a lot of flash. Flash is very old. Um, so you want to use kind of web, some web point 2.0 or 3.0, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, something that's a little bit more up to date. But you want it to be simple. But of course, that's your decision on how you're designing your website. But when you go into design, it's got to kind of mirror your brand. And that's something I want to also bring up too. As you do your design, you want to be able to brand your business and have your website be designed according to your brand, defining you in your business. And then we talked a little bit about this, the site functionality. What do you want it to do? What I always suggest on the front page, on the top of the page, is your CTA, your call to action. What do you want people to do on your website? That's the most important part of your website is a top half of the first page. That's where the action is. Right? And then finally, defining your content. You know, as a website provider, uh, designer, I don't know about your business. So this is going to be the tough part as a business owner. And I know I always talk about, you know, you need to um, focus on your business, but we really need, you know, you need to define your content. What content do you want on your website? Um, you know, the basic site is the About Us page, tells your story, um, your call, you know, your products and services, right, would be another page. And then your call to action page would be another page. Um, you would have a blog. I always like to put blogs on your own website versus using uh, WordPress or Blogger uh, separately because, of course, that helps with your SEO, right? So that's the last thing you want to do is define content on your page that will attract people, right? Think about keywords that define your business, and you'll have an amazing website because a website is the king of all, and we always talked about this. The social media platforms, all those channels, is a way to get traffic to your website where the action happens. So hopefully these these uh, steps help. You know, I'll write them down here as part of this post. And of course, if you need a new website, we have so many options through MA Web Centers, AllMyMarketing.com, and Thrive through AMC Biz Solutions. So have a great day, 
And if you have any questions, please let me know. This is Jeff D, AMCBizSolutions.com.